Good morning, ladies. Uh, we welcome to Challenge 160. Uh, we're with Cheryl Koenig. She gave us the choice, this uh, challenge for the pets. Paint your pet with a twist. Um, yes. How are you, Cheryl? I'm well, thank you. I had thank a good you. night's sleep, but it's quite early in the morning to be doing a Zoom. <laughs> Uh, no, I appreciate it, but uh, yeah, this way too early for us ladies. Yes, <laughs> the sun's not even up there by Rancher. Yeah, okay. up. my son is visiting and he's sleeping in, so I don't want to zoom in the house. I don't want to wake him. So I'm sitting my, outside. Not your son, the son. My, my son, that is why I'm sitting outside. No, the sun behind you. <laughs> Can you see this? Look at this view. Get the thorn trees, the sun's coming up. Look at that. So it's very early, Graham. Yeah, that's why I said the sun. <laughs> okay. Um, getting confused with the sun. <laughs> <laughs> never um, mind. I know exactly yeah. what you're saying, but never mind. Uh, we had 64 entries this uh, challenge and uh, some very interesting ones. A lot of new people. Um, and then, um, as we mentioned uh, on, on our WhatsApp chat, just a, a lot of uh, people slipped through the cracks because they posted uh, either before or after the cut of times. And, um, you know, we, we need to stick with the rules. Um, you need to post between five and six. No, the, between six and five, eh? Yeah, between yeah six, six and five. Five, six and five. five yeah. p.m. Yes, uh, or else it's going to be it's going to cause chaos everywhere. Mm. So, Cheryl, uh, what was your take on the uh, challenge? I was absolutely amazed. I really was. I thought it might have been a little bit sort of um, childish for everybody, but it's turned out to be very <laughs> uh, humorous and 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 lots of fun. I've enjoyed watching every looking at every single one. Very, very I good. agree. And yourself, Ranger? Mm. Well, I was pleasantly surprised. I also thought we'll get a lot of cartoon, cartoonish figures, cartoonish animals, but we actually didn't. Uh, there's a, quite a few very good artworks. I'm very chuffed and the, uh, quite a few entries extra. So that's always a, a, a positive when, when the challenge grows. Okay, super Graham. Um, just a quick one. Um, how, many will we, how many will we be going through? Uh, we'll just scroll uh, through them and we'll just pick out some okay. in the chat. All right, so you'll do the picking out. Um, yeah, or do well, you want me to pick out the ones that I think? I'll, I'll go along with whatever you do. Let's, yeah, we just scroll through and then we just talk and then I edit everything, put everything back. Okay, so our first entry yesterday was Corneli Wolf. Which was too early, Graham. It was too early, but also um, it didn't have a twist, if you ask me. Except for the we have to be strict about the rules, and if if there's no twist, then they just don't they don't uh, get um, well, they don't qualify, they don't qualify for, for for a prize or to be mentioned. So we just have to let it go. No problem. <laughs> that's that's one of the cartoonish figures, isn't that just so cute? It's, it's charming. <laughs> yeah, it makes you laugh. <laughs> Daddy and Smith. Wow, those eyes really do pierce you. Beautiful. Okay, eyes. So what, what would be the twist thing? So we, so we have to decide what's a twist. Oh, there needs to be something extra, and there's no extra. What's this? I mean, that's just the fluidity yes. there under yes. the mouth. So. Yes. Do you so think no, it is? No, no. I, I thought maybe it was a, a mouse tail or something. Um, but they, I'm not sure. Qualified. Yes. I've, I've been baffling my head about that as well. I'm like, is it a straw? Is it a mouse tail? Is it, is it the skin on the cat? I'm not too sure. Yes, it, it's not defined properly. So one would have to disqualify it as far as, um, uh, you know, a little twist. accent or twist. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Pity. Wow. Mm. Graham, so maybe you should just mention when we, when you, put everything together that that is why some of them are not mentioned because there was just no twist so they didn't qualify for the challenge okay here's linda thumb <laughs> that's also very comical yes very fun lots of fun here lots of things going on a nice little story going on in the background 
And it's actually very quaint and very uh, unique, quite original. I agree. Laura Bollet. Uh, also very me. nice. Quite a busy little painting. Um, lots of um, deep tractions, if you ask me, but still very nice. I like the bow tie. Yes, it's cheerful. And there's some nice, interesting effects in the background in the greens behind the head of the the um, grand dame or whoever she is. Yes, lovely. Uh, and it's laying on uh, someone's flowers. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Karine Forbes. Oh, I love this one. I think it's, it's said so much with so little and it's it's very topical. Very well done. Yeah. And it's actually a beautiful artwork. If you look at the eyes and the, the way mm. that she did the hair, then she, she's a very accomplished artist. It's Can lovely. Yes. Uh, Lois Fisher. Oh, so oh, this, cute. Yes, this is Sir, um, Sir C Point, I think it is. Um, I'm just trying to remember his name, but it's a lovely, lovely portrait. And the eyes, you know, say so much about the character of the, of the dog. It's lovely. I would have liked some of the blue of the bow tie coming through, you know, in his fur and in his face, but then you've got the blue in the background, so he stands out nicely. A beautiful artwork. And okay. I love his expression. Hey, she actually yes. caught the expression so well. Yes, yes very it's well. lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy Renica. No twist. No Agree. Uh, Linda Cousins. <laughs> this is very quaint. I like this very much. It also tells a story. And um, I love the fur in this dog. It really, it's sort of like a sheep dog. It's just, it's, it's really charming. Gorgeous. And, and uh, the movement, there's so much movement in this little painting. So very, very well done. Even with the brush strokes, you can see the movement in the painting. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, Barry Collicott, last week's, or the week before his winner. Oh, very Isn't successful. That so beautiful. I love the way that he did the loose background with the blue and he didn't yes. fill up the canvas with the paint. So it actually, it's got a nice clear, I love it, clear look. And that little, just the one eye says so much. So once again, you know, <laughs> less is more. <laughs> and then Barry, uh, drop us in the comments. Uh, did you do this with your new Faber Castell uh, watercolor pan set? <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Rensha could see it. Rensha, just adore this. I really do. <laughs> there no eyes, there's no, there are no eyes to, to give you the expression, but the little nose and the and the and the, the you know up against the bottom of the bed or wherever it is taken just says so much. So charming. Thank you so much. It was actually my third take, so I I I was on the the on the, on the verge of giving up on it. So I'm really glad I did the third try. So the first two was, were not successful. And that lovely so, little knitted um, beanie or whatever with the ear sticking out, <laughs> just so clever. Lovely. Thanks a lot. Thank and, you. And uh, this, this has actually got the most likes, if I'm not mistaken, so far. Not Thanks. surprised. Thank you. But guess what you can win? Nothing. What? Faber Castell pencils. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, More. bottle of wine. I'll settle for wine. How's that? Annie Sinclair. Yes, I love this. It's a real soldier boy, this one. And it's a, a little jacket and yeah, it's charming. I would have liked a bit of warmth, just maybe in the fur or somewhere in the background, just because it's actually a very cold little painting, but the comical expression and the little jacket, so well painted. Well done. Yes, it's lovely. And happy birthday, Annie, for this week. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> uh, Sita oh, Dutoy, I love this. Very, very cool. So professional. And so much is said with so little. So once again, most successful. She's got a very striking technique. I love the little splashes and splatters. Mm -hmm. And um, it tells a story. Very, very yes. successful. Yes. Very loose and, and lucid and lovely. And, and sexy legs as well. <laughs> the dog is not happy. He's got wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, oh, lot, God. there's lots of Kutsias <laughs> popping up uh, on this challenge. Is it all your family that side? All my family. We all <laughs> stick together. 
I can see that. <laughs> uh, Volmer, this, you can see yeah? yeah, this is sort of drawn in a very cartoonish way, but actually it's, uh, it, it's worked quite well, I must say. Mm. Um, I like the sort of blandness of the, um, the dog against the blue cap and, and the little blue bow. It's very quaint. Mm, I agree. <laughs> and Cheryl Koenig, little doggy. Yeah, she it's aged true, somewhat. Cheryl. It's in your style, and I recognize it immediately, and I love the cap and all the hats. So beautiful. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Um, Cheryl's given us a step-by-step -step breakdown on her painting. Uh, we'll post that probably on Tuesday. Right. Can't mm. wait. Lisa Berger. Mit Haas das. Mm, Easter Bunny. <laughs> nice textures in the background. Um, interesting. And then a smooth sort of foreground. So it works quite nicely, the contrasts. It is what? lovely. Just be careful when you do something like that, that you don't detract from your main focus with your textures. Because my eye gets pulled to that right hand corner. But a beautiful little bunny. And I love the flowers by the ears. Mm. Uh, what medium is this, ladies? I think it's a sort of mixed uh, meat, a bit of pastel, is it? It looks um, like well to me. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. It sort of uh, conjures up a few different mediums in one. Yeah. Yeah. I chocolate as well, hey? Yes. <laughs> I've called uh, this one, <laughs> don't mess with my tutu. <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh, goodness. Such fun. Mm -hmm. I think the doggy painted the background there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that pig, that pig was selling his art for, for hundreds of thousands of grants. Yeah, yes. Picasso. All you these Picasso. animals <laughs> are painting. Yeah, and this little sort of mop in the background is very quaint. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Alta Swart. Mm. Nice addition. She's done some nice work here. Um, a nice twist with the um, yeah. skull and crossbones and looks like a pirate. Well yeah. done. Uh, this is watercolors. Yes. I think so, yes. It looks like it. Yes. Very, very nice. Nice other contrast mm. in the dog's chest. Yes. Yeah, Lots of, yeah you're uh, right. Cuts, yeah. Uh, Linda Rousseau. <laughs> Such a beautiful drawing. Uh, I'm sure it's only charcoal. Oh, and maybe graphite, but sure, very successful. It's unbelievable what you can do with charcoal and pencil. Yes, yeah. it's a very good study, this. Works mm. very well. It's very cold, so I'm hoping there's a rum or something in there that the dog is bringing. <laughs> Whiskey. And, and, and she, you can see that she can draw, hey? She's got nice proportions, and nice good sketch. Proportion. Very good. Uh, Coral Kruger, no twist. Mm. So would you... <laughs> yeah, what about the colors, Graham? Would that qualify as a twist? I don't know. He did mention in his post that uh, the colors were his twist. Yes, I noted that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it still I, could have come with something. Maybe a little bird in the background or, I don't know, just something else to give it that extra twist. Eh? Yeah. Jeanette Barbara Duplessis. <laughs> I love yeah. these two. <laughs> I don't see a twist. Sorry, guys. Yeah, also no twist there. Uh, Melinda Brummer, no twist. Uh, beautiful, no twist, sure. And such a beautiful painting. Yes, well, it's well executed. Yeah. There's also watercolors, though. Yes, yes, that's watercolor. A lot of watercolors nice. this, uh, this uh, uh, challenge. It's wonderful. It's wonderful how these are absolutely revival with the watercolors. Mm, mm. Marvelous. Um, uh, this is Trudy Buerta, a pastel, so beautiful. Oh, such a cute <laughs> little face. Yes, there are lots of twists here. Excellent. And yeah. I know she only started with uh, pastels recently. And I mean, that's just the, the beautiful little painting. It is very good. I think the main twist here is that the dog hasn't eaten the chocolates. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> Maria uh, Radley. Uh, joyful and happy and charming. And very the way that you do it, huh? very successful. Yes. There's quite a few of these little doggies uh, as well. Uh, um, yeah. These little terriers. Yeah. In the, yeah, very in cute the challenge. Places. Mm. 
That's one of my favorites. I okay. love the way that she, she applied the watercolor with a bright bow tie and the purple background. Oh, that is just so cute. Also yes, watercolors? Yes, yes. Her face says so much. And there's not a lot of um, fuss going on, but it actually works very well. Mm. Mm. Margareta Ferri. This is one of my what? favorites. <laughs> I agree. What a pleasant surprise, Rieta. She did so well with this. And you can see the way that she applied the watercolor so cleanly. There's, mm. She didn't make any mud. So I think it's a very successful little painting. It mm. is. And those eyes say so much uh, with so little detail. It's very clever, this one. I agree. Oh, mm. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I it this? just makes you laugh, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like Mick Jagger. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you would have given a jaws a run for his money. Look at those teeth. <laughs> yeah. I think the teeth must have been, you, it must have been um, masked out just to have kept them so clean and fresh. Um, oh, and her washes are lovely. They're, they're so loose and um, less is more again. Lovely. I love it. Beautiful. One of my favorites as well. Anita Roo. Hmm, this is such a clean, clean little painting and, and just a, a few soft edges would have really brought it to life. I think it's very cut out. So if she just um, use the background, you know, just brush it forward into the little animal. You would have made such a difference, but look at the expression in the eyes and I love the crown and it's really a regal little cat. Beautiful. Yes, it mm. is lovely. Hilary Dalbini. Yes, Dalbini. Tells a story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's a friend of mine and I just wanted to mention the name is Dalbini. Ah, Dalbini. Yes. Oh, it's it's so sweet. And she actually had this little dog and it did go in the washing machine. So she's used her own <laughs> reference. Yeah. <laughs> Very gorgeous. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, no twisty. No twisty. No twisty. Okay, so we've got the colors. Maybe you should just go back to the cat, Brian, because we've got those colors. I mean, that's doesn't that count no, the, the next one? Okay. Yeah, that, that mm. definitely counts as a twist. Mm. I think we should add the, the ones with a with a weird and wonderful colors because that is definitely a twist for me do you agree Cheryl yes it's a twist of color really isn't it it's using different colors and making it look um almost psychedelic really which I suppose yeah. you could say is the twist yeah I, I would yeah. give that merit yeah yeah it's a beautiful little artwork lovely she eyes used, yeah she used the colors so well I think it's beautiful nice movement throughout the painting it is nice like a Van Gogh cat Yes. Mm, Pen Lloyd. No to a stay. Florence Janssen oh. von Rensburg. <laughs> These are twists with a bow tie. Oh, so beautiful. I think you can see it's a Yorkie, a little silky Yorkie. So beautiful. Yes. And you know, these soft eyes with animals, they, it says so much. And there's so little detail in it, but you've got to get that little softness in the eyes. And that mm. speaks to you all the time. She it's well, done. Done. well done. Mm, Anita <laughs> Lurie. So um, cute. That little tail. Oh, my word. <laughs> Beautiful. The color, the color mix is so gorgeous. It's so vibrant. And this huge bone in this little mouth. And it works so well. I love that it's one. Happy, happy little painting. Very. Mm, this so hers has got the colors in plus the twist. Yes, plus well nice done. Artwork. Yes, a lovely uh, piece. Another princess cat. I mean, there's not much of a twist. Cats always think their princess is a royalty in any case, you know. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Yeah, always wear it. It's it's, it's also. So Less is more, hey? such a beautiful yeah. little artwork. Well done. It, it's a lovely drawing, actually. And those eyes really do speak to you. I yeah, like that. Yeah, they reckon the eyes are the hardest thing to draw or to do as an artwork. Exactly, because they the windows to the soul. Yes. Um, Kerry Carter, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most likes um, of the Yes. 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 Oh. And they're just exquisite. 
there's a party going on and there's so much movement and they dancing and doing the twist. I think it's gorgeous. I can actually hear the trumpet as well. Such a well done, Terry. Excellent artwork. Very successful. Great structure to those animals and the cats dancing and all the movement in the background and the colors are just charming. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. That's no party. Those two cats, that's 4.30 in the morning and those two cats want food. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling. Okay, so, so this one is also enjoying the artwork. Say hi to Toffee. Oh, oh she's you. just is it a male or female? He's a little oh. boy. What, what oh, is too beautiful. Thank you. Uh you want a Kruger Prince Law? No twist. No, and I think oh. she mentioned she did it some time ago. So that's a no no, hey. Yes, and I did see that on a couple as well. Where people uh, okay, uh, picked no. up some things as well. Yes. Uh, we mustn't. Sarah we must... oh, well, Sarah's so... used a lot of different techniques here. I wrote them down because things I've never heard of: uh, black sugar paper on green sugar paper, acrylic Oscar really? pens, fiber oh, yeah. pens, bleach, and pencil crowns. So she's used sure. so many techniques, and it's actually worked very sure. nicely. Well done, Sarah. Sure. Uh, is, is that all the See, techniques she's done in this one, Cheryl? Yes, I wrote them all down because I didn't know some of them and I thought it'd be interesting to discuss them, you know. Uh, maybe we could chat to her about it. Yeah. Um, uh... I've never heard of um, black sugar paper on green sugar paper. I'm not sure no. what that is. No. You got me. So maybe, maybe he pasted one paper on top of the other and then did the, the, the markings. Yes, but... It's very successful and it's interesting. Mm. You know, you want to look at it all the time, and those eyes are mm. very, mm. very. And clear. the way that you softened the background, so she's pushing the, the animal forward. It's very yes. successful. Well yes. done. Lovely. Uh, Anneli von Jeden, bit of pen and watercolor. Look at that cute little face. Yes, it's, it's very successful. That less is more. Lovely. Little twist with the scarf. Yeah. And all the little markings, lovely, very nice. Uh, burn D. Unusual, unusual technique. I, I, I think it's crayon or, or was it pencil? I'm not sure. Pencil crayon. I'm not sure if I, I wrote this one down. I think it's pencil. Uh, French Bulldog, Smarty Marty, it's called. There um, are maybe oil pastels as well in the background or yes. crayons. Could be. Yeah, a little bit isolated in the techniques, I think. It doesn't quite blend together. What do you feel, um, mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, a little bit cut out, but uh, she used the orange and the green as, as complementary colors, and it works very well. Nice expression on the face with the yes. lip turning up. Huh? Yes, yes, that's clever. It's It's got a, a, a wood cut yeah. feel. Yeah, she could have softened that hind leg just to push it back a little bit, but, but very nice. Yes. No twist? No. Okay. Mix has got some colors that we can talk about. Yes. So Lovely. that we mentioned, that would be the twist. So yes. such a beautiful thing. Wow. Very clear. Lovely eyes. Works extremely well. I like it. think it's acrylic. Would that be acrylics on paper? I'm sure. Doesn't look like canvas. There's no watercolor. I'm not sure. Is it watercolor? Seriously. It looks like watercolor. I don't know. We should, I'm not sure. Is it um I'm not sure which who who's the artist here? Do we know? Mix. Mix. Oh, Mix. Mix. oh I, you know, I think it could be acrylic. I don't know. Yeah, lovely. Sure. Beautiful. Successful. Uh, I will uh, run through. I'll I'll post on the bottom what medium it is. Um, okay. Mike, now, no twist. No twist. Oh, it, this Alamo guys. <laughs> I really love this, but it's got no twist. I mean, well, oh, look, look oh, carefully. Yeah. Look carefully. That, uh, uh, that, that parakeet is in black and white. Mm. And they eat some more, Zay. They eat some more biscuits that he's tucking into. Oh, isn't that just, if, the, if this one qualifies, it would be one of my favorites because I just think it's gorgeous. It's, but I think she's won really, Ella Marais. She's yeah, been one of our winners. She so she doesn't qualify, Graham. It, 
Does she qualify for my for my no. position now? No. Okay. Uh, Anna Marie. Oh. Lem yeah. Good luck with that. Oh, um, Okay, thank you. I think you must just say the names from now. <laughs> okay. Oh, so cute. And it's a pink one. Oh, my word. Christmas yes, is coming early this year. Well, it's unusual, but to me, it's out of focus. I don't know if it's my eye. Yeah, no, it might be the cameras um, that yeah. people take the photo. Uh, I've got a joke. I've got a joke. I've got a joke. Uh, what, do you, what do you call a baby chameleon? Uh-uh. Like a thousand. Like a thousand. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I don't get it. <laughs> Cheryl, do you, do you get it? It's no, not a million. It's, it's a thousand. <laughs> oh, it's not a million. A million, million. a thousand. Okay, <laughs> really. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe we should screen your jokes before we, we come on air. Yeah, at least it's not a dirty joke, hey. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've got a dirty one for you. And, uh, okay, I'm going to put it in then. <laughs> not today. <laughs> uh, okay, Jeanette. here's my winner. Oh. Wow. I'm supposed to give you a winner now, Rencher. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh, that is just, I love the background. I love his little face. Yeah. I love all the textures, the colors of the glasses. Beautiful. It works yeah. very well, and it's obviously a watercolor, and it's done extremely it's professionally. Very well, yeah. it's a little eye just peeping through one of the, yeah. the um, <laughs> lenses there. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Lilani, she had two. No twist. One. Yeah. No okay, twist. No. And no twist. Uh, Mandy. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. Uh, Little dog, yes, quite nicely done in the whites. I must say, it looks like pastel, maybe. What do you yeah. think? Mm. Yeah, it's soft. I'm sure it's pastel. Yeah, it's cute. Mm. Uh, Sharon, I know this was an old artwork. She said she put, uh, she found uh, a dog. Yes. No twist, Graham. So, so when we, yeah, when we, um, when you get an old artwork or that post, like we should actually remove them from the group. They they mustn't feature because they don't qualify for the challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Isn't this done by a youngster, a ten-year-old or something? Um, yes. I'm wow. Sure. Very successful. Alaskan Husky, and it's yeah. Jordan Lazard Chet Chetia. Yeah, he's he's and actually done. Yeah. Two or three uh, previously. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Well done. It's really charming. It's excellent. This is pastel, isn't it? Yeah. yeah this is definitely so. pastel. Uh, do is we, it, is it twist there? Yeah, well, they got the barrel there. Ball? A little okay. ball, a roller okay. ball or something. Yeah. Or is it Lovely experience. Yeah. Lovely and soft. I think it's really successful. Well done. No uh, twist. No twist. Pity. Serena Mostert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also very cartoonish, but very mm -hmm. successful and a beautiful little artwork. I love the green background. It really brings it to life. Yes, the mm -hmm. drawing's good. Yeah. I like this one from Jenna Kingwell. Yes, lots yeah, of this, this was also a favorite day. Eh? Yes, very nice. Lovely line work there. And um, obviously watercolor as well, I think. Yep. Yes, um, impressive. Uh, Pietro Ninaba. So cute with the hat. Well done. <laughs> yeah. It's the perspective there is very good because not easy to do that nose coming forward like that. Yeah. Well I'm actually looking at that. You know, it looks wrong, but it looks right. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a twist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the definite twist there. Yeah. To no the nose. <laughs> no. Uh, no twist on there. Uh, this, Fiona. this Fiona painting, that is just exquisite, but there's no twist. But she used a mm -hmm. uh, collage. Isn't that yeah. just exquisite? Such I a pity there's no twist. Absolutely love this one, because you know I do collage. But unfortunately, yeah. it's missing the boat. Yeah. yeah. And then Jennifer Thornton. Hmm. Dreamlike. Yeah. It tells a little fairy tale story, really lovely. Yes. Um, 
Sure, Quite very nice. busy. Lots of things going on. The yes. fish. <coughs> and okay. Sort of na naive drawing, hey? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get to choosing our winners. Uh, Cheryl's our guest, so she gets to go first. Oh, this has been so difficult. I've changed my mind five times. <laughs> I love the um, the collage one, but of course it doesn't have a twist, so I'm going to have to eliminate that one from my first choice. Um, and then I'm going to go to Sarah Tabarton, the sugar black sugar paper. I'm not sure what it's called. This one, mm -hmm. um, uh, quite now. a well. There, there it is. You, you've just was, gone across. Yeah, the different techniques. There, yeah, that one. Okay. okay. I like it, but I'm I'm still not 100% sure. Maybe I should just run through them all again quickly. Um, I also quite like the second one with the, with the teeth. You know, the one with the with yeah, something in the, the mouth. Green. The yeah, that, that one. <laughs> I, I think I like that one the best now because it's less is more and it's free and easy and happy and smiley and just lots of things about it that are are very um, humane. Also and one of my, who's the artist there? Eh? Uh, let's name one. Uh, great stuff. I love, love that one. I think he was chewing his toy, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> well, I think that, I think I'm going to go with that one. Awesome. So I agree, Cheryl. Is uh, Cheryl's Good. winner? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Has she won it, before in the past or um, is she a new winner? Well, we don't know. She, no, no, she's no, a new she, winner. She, yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. that's hundred percent. Uh, uh, Rinchard, uh, do you know anything about Alit? How long she's been on the group? Anything like that? Um, she's been on the group for some time, for a, a few years. Um, but she's always, you know, taking on the challenge and she's trying her best. So that would have been one of my choices as well. So, uh, well done, especially with watercolor. It must have been mm. so difficult to hold back like that, because you can see that she put the colors down and she left it. She didn't yeah. fiddle. Didn't me Fresh. mess it up, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Awesome, Fresh. awesome. Uh, congratulations, Alette. Uh, inbox me your details so we can uh, send you an email and your prize and Woo everything. <laughs> uh, then Rensha, your winner. Okay, I'll, I'll also add it. A huge fight with myself about the winners. I, I just couldn't decide. So I really like the little um, cockatiel. Is it a cockatiel? With a eat some more biscuits. But I I I really like that one. But then I decided on Jeanette's. Just two up. So it was between that one and that one. And I, I have to say that I think this is this is just so exquisite. So that would be my winner. And she's also she's a She's always painting, she's selling, she's working hard, she applies herself every day. So well done, Jeanette, you're my winner. Oh, I would awesome. agree with that, it's lovely. And then we're gonna have our third winner, uh, which you'll probably see on the screen now. Um, that's been chosen by everybody on the group. So yeah, thank you everybody for participating, it's been awesome. Um, we've got our new challenge. Um, it will be up later today. We've decided on something. It should be quite interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much, Cheryl, for this amazing challenge that we've had. It was very fun uh, and a lot of entries, um, a lot of new entries. And, you know, that's what we want to do is spark up some new interest with people. Yes. Thank you, Graham, for choosing my category. And I must say, it's really turned out to be very inspiring. And um, you do such a good job. And Thank Rensha, you. keep it up. It's it's wonderful for local artists. We really Thank are you. appreciating it. Thank you. And we, we should get you back because you've got so much knowledge and your comments are so constructive. So it would be wonderful to have you back at some stage. Mm. Thank you. I'd love to be back. I think uh, we, we might do a collage uh, uh, celebrity challenge with uh, Cheryl. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> I'd love that. Raymond, <laughs> thanks to you. We, we know you're on holiday. And thanks for making the time for us, for the challenge. It's always no a problem. pleasure. And it was so nice spending the, the few hours well, hour with you this morning.
Hundred percent. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna start editing the video, and then uh, I'll chat you guys on the group. Thank you so much. Great. Right. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Cheryl. Have Thank a nice you. weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.